Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It is time for the losers match of Group D here in the TLS3. We're going to be watching a ZBZ between Sacred and Cozy. Yep, we are indeed. And uh, as we said before, probably going to be Cozy to take this one, but it is Zerg Zerg, so unless you are supremely knowledgeable in the matchup, there's usually a certain element of coin flip in it, which any player can take advantage of. Yep, unless you're a Siki and or Jadon. Yeah, yeah. Then it's pretty case. set in stone. Yeah, I mean, I'm pre I'm, I mean, I guess, I guess it's still a coin flip for them, but they have like the uh, the double headed coin that that Harvey Dent which uses. Just has, so it's which just, just has I heads. win yeah. on both sides. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, um, it's the it's the always winning coin. Um, yeah. But but this matchup I think is particularly interesting to me because of course they already played in the tiebreaker with Cozy uh, two owing Sacred pretty handily. Um, so it'll be quite interesting if Sacred can just take this game and knock Cozy out of the tournament. That's some... the joy of best of one. It can happen. <laughs> it really can. Best of one is just crazy. And I would not be surprised to see some kind of Zergling shenanigans. I wouldn't be surprised if he's just like, okay, best of one. He's, he seems to be the better player. I'm just going to go for it and try and take him by surprise in the other game. Nine hatch, nine pool, nine gas. Oh, wait, no, it's eight gas. Shit. Yeah, it's got to be. Gas? No, it's eight gas. Whatever. Do the Keontae build. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Do the Keontae build. Yes. Yes. It's awesome. All right. Anyway, let's go into the game here on the OS deck. Let's do it. Right at the bottom right corner as the orange Zerg, we have IWL Sacred. And at the 12 o'clock as the yellow Zerg, we have Zerg Boy. Yes, we do indeed. Zerg Boy. You can tell he thought long and hard about that name. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we start, any bets on uh, how many minutes it takes for us to boot Apocalypse? <laughs> Anybody? Well, it's usually happened by now, hasn't it? I mean, this is, this it's is... only been it's been 30 seconds you know we could just it could take a little while you know the players are still just warming up on their drones you know 30 seconds is a big success for two pocket it. that is it's probably the longest time he's lasted in a game he must be great in bed <laughs> <laughs> sorry two oh it. man harsh harsh <laughs> the terrible thing is i was actually also trying to figure out how to make that joke yeah, and you yeah. totally got to it before I did. <laughs> Hate to the post. <laughs> Damn. Uh, just like Tupac, huh? Boom! Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Boom! Sorry, Tupac, <laughs> we're sure you're great in bed, really. <laughs> and and you're also a very respected organizer whom we would never publicly ridicule. <laughs> Please don't fire us. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't fire us. It's the only ray of light. <laughs> All right, I mean, we got we got some twelve something going on. Um, yeah, 12, 12 nothing so far. We've got we've got overlords floating about doing their jellyfish in the sky thing, uh, and a whole bunch more drones in the making. So yes, yeah, my prediction not yet coming true. How is this even possible? Yeah, it's uh, it's crazy, man. Not predicting a ZVZ correctly. Ah, oh, I mean that never happens with us, right? We always get the ZVZs. Yeah, I know. Uh, right. What's going on today? Anyway, we did have uh, 12 pulls from both, although for some reason. Uh, Cozy's is a little bit, a little bit later. Also, the colors messed up. Hold on, I'm trying to fix this. But all right, I got it. I got it. Damn. Sorry for the technical trouble, guys. I got it. At least I haven't been muted at any point in this cast. It's been great. You did disconnect yourself though. Yeah, uh, I did. Nobody, nobody knew that. Uh, I was deliberately not mentioning that. Uh, I said, you're going to be so professional about this. Uh, script. It's okay. <laughs> nobody, nobody still knows when it happened or what happened. Yeah, exactly. And nobody will ever know. You <laughs> save that to our graves. <laughs> maybe. Uh, maybe you'll be pushing it all over Skype straight after this cast. Yep. That's your ways. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. um. All right, we got, we got some lings on the way, some lings on the way. Of course, uh, one important thing we should note is that Sacred did get the uh, correct scout off as Overlord, so he now knows exactly 
what build his opponent does, which happens to be the exact same build he's he's doing. Um, yep. And Cozy at the moment still has no idea what Sacred is doing as far as the build goes. So, you know, I mean, the fact that he hasn't seen any Lings yet will probably tip him off that it's obviously not Nine Pool, probably not Nova Pool either. Yeah. Um, but other than that, he's not 100% sure. I wonder if you can just tell from these two links that it was just a 12 pool expand like he's doing. I don't know if you can uh, tell from that. We've seen quite a lot of extra links coming out from uh, coming out from Cozy right here. He's making, he's still making two more in his main. They just hatched now. Uh, finally switched back to drones again. But he's he's made quite a few zerglings, um, but not too many more than usual. I guess this is a fairly fairly standard procedure. So he's he's not doing any kind of any kind of panic reaction. Just gonna come chill at their own bases. Uh, it, I, I, I'm wondering actually, did uh, did Sacred make extra drones here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think so. I think. Oh no, 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 there's there's two more at the natural. Yeah, two more. Than okay, so so they're actually even drone cats. I don't actually know why uh, he needed to transfer two to the natural if he doesn't have one for patch in the main anyway. Yeah. Um, seems a little weird. Nice little bit of a dash there from uh, from Cozy Marishan to get a link into uh, into his opponent's main base. Of course, it can be a little bit hard to keep speedlings alive for a very long time because, of course, you, you move them somewhere and then they're moving there and you try to do something else, but they get there so damn fast that you have to be back within seconds. So yep. it's really hard to keep uh, speedlings alive for too long when they're being chased by speedlings, which are equally as fast, of course. We do now finally have the, uh, the Spire happening for both these guys. It's still identical time. There's really no divergence at all so far. And they're both just pumping plenty of Zerglings, so it's really it's a standoff position, um, which we won't see decided for a little while still, I think. Yeah, basically the Overlords kind of see each other's link counts, so they're kind of like playing a bit of a game of link chicken where they kind of have to keep making links to keep pace with the other player, but they try and want to sneak a drone in here and there. Um, by the way, I do really like uh, Sacred's Spire positioning. It's going to be so hard to actually attack this with Zerglings, you can see. It's almost yeah. no surface area. Whereas Cozy's a lot more exposed, so if there's somehow some crazy link run by happens, um, it's going to be a lot more vulnerable to getting sniped. Now those situations don't happen that often. Um, well, actually, it's ZB to Z, so they do. They do happen. Very often, yeah. But uh, well, rarely do you actually get the spire sniped. Usually, it's uh, it's just you know drones getting sniped. Um, mm. But you know those, those those big run buys do sometimes happen, and in those cases, it's much better to have your spire in this kind of position like Sacred has. Absolutely, yeah. I, I definitely really like that spire positioning, uh, and. I've and of course, it's a it's a block on all sides of basically everything. So it just makes maneuvering around the base a little bit harder. But we do have Lings oh, looking like they're going to go in a big conga line right now, which is never good. Um, but repositioning himself a little bit cozy, looking like uh, he was pushed back just upon seeing his opponent's Zergling count, not feeling too enthusiastic anymore. Those Zerglings moving out very purposefully and moving back uh, equally as purposefully. Uh, I'm just going to prepare to go straight to Muselis right here. Not going to try any kind of crazy Zergling shenanigans. Yep, looks like uh, a couple mutas out now for uh, Sacred. He's got one more about to pop, another one on the way. Meanwhile, what do we have on the other side? Looks like the first muta is popping for uh, Cozy as well. Uh, we're gonna have a bit of overlord hunting. Looks like we are. Sacred is looking. He can't find it though. And yeah, looks like we're heading towards the left there. So probably gonna stay alive actually, um, unless Sacred gets really daring. But I don't think he should yeah, go out too like far. It. It's gonna be a little no, bit careful. I wouldn't imagine he will. He's kind of wandering around a little bit, but I don't think he's going to go that far. It looks like the Overlord is, in fact, going to make it. And both these guys are now sporting a pretty decent Mutalist count and both just kind of keeping keeping them active. But none of them looking particularly aggressive so far, both <laughs> looking slightly unwilling to be the first one to make a move. Of course, when you've gone for mirror matchups, it could be hard to be the one to take the initiative because you know you've got to be the better player. Yep. And, of course, there is a nice defen defensive advantage, so... Um... You just, you know, there's, there's just no reason to attack. You know, you might as well chill. You might as well uh, get some other buildings like, I don't know, Queen's Nest and a Hive. Hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. Get a Hive, <laughs> goddammit! <laughs> I don't imagine it happening somehow. That would be pretty daring at this point. Uh -oh. But it looks when like finally that, we are going to see an engagement. Sacred is going to go for it. He might be able to catch one or two drones for free and then get out. But oh, we can see a big scourge hit! Nice micro to start things off from uh, from Cozy Managing Snap up one scourge and then the rest of them just retreat straight up. One uh, one drone the richer. Uh, so 
Taker is going to be feeling like that's a fairly good start. That could get him a tiny edge ahead of the game, but not really going to make any significant difference. Just the one drone uh, at this fairly late stage. Although it could, it could make, it could make some kind of difference. Definitely is good. By the way, if anyone's wondering about this random overlord migration to the top left, it's basically so he can keep stacking all his air units. Um, you just want the overlords as far away from the action as possible. So yep. that's what that's about. And it's almost mm, impossible for uh, for Sacred to actually go over there and kill them. Um, yeah, basically. It would be quite funny if he just randomly sent a whole bunch of Scourge there thinking they were there. Because, I mean, it's yeah. not that uncommon for the Zerg to do this. So. No, it's really not. If he suddenly randomly decided he wanted to just max supply block his opponent, he could just use a bunch of Scourge, although it would open him up for a counterattack, though. Yeah, pretty horribly. He does have plenty of Scourge on the map, though. It looks like he's going to go for another attack. Uh, and Cozy moves back in an important moment. This might lose him another drone or two. The Scourge going in. A lot of them landing on each other. Um, I don't know how intentional that was. I think that must have been um, intentional. But a lot more Scourge coming in right here. It looks like a fair amount of them might land. Cozy is doing his best micro. Uh, but meanwhile, Sacred is going for the engagement. It looks like he could actually have this. Cozy might be in trouble. I don't know who's going to win this as of yet. It can be very difficult to tell. It's only Zerg engagements, but it looks like it is good for Sacred. Cozy, wow. this is his entire business force, and he can be done. GG! Sacred gets revenge on Cozy, the guy who knocked him out 2 0 in the tiebreakers. He has just dusted him off, taken him out of the <laughs> tournament. Oh my god, Cozy. I mean, he just, he faced the man who came back from the dead. He's been bitten by the zombie, and he is now the one <laughs> who is swimming with the fishes. Oh, wow. Bitten by the zombie and swimming with the fishes. What TV show is that? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, nice finish there for, for Sacred's Take Out Cozy um, in a quite surprising result, but the legend of the fall is on. Mr. I Seth. told you. Oh, but wait, wait. That means he has to be Bakri now. Aww. Oh. I'm sorry, Bakri. You. It's it's Legend of the Fall though. Sorry, Legend. Bakri is gonna take this. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Legend of the Fall only applies to Peros anyway. We're good. Exactly. So it's Fine. rubbish. Forget Calm it. down. Don't panic. <laughs> yeah. All this right. is just on anomalous zombie bite, not a whole outbreak. <laughs> so. All right. Break time. See you guys in bed. <laughs>